Hi Balloons Party Entertainment. Here we are, Memorial Day weekend, and I think I got something cool for design number 22. I was gonna go with something big and crazy, but then I had an idea for design, and I had to run with it. Due to the popularity of the cow, I have a design with a similar structure, and I think it's pretty cute. I'm gonna teach it today. So here we have a three balloon moose. I don't know what sound it makes, so I won't attempt to make the moose sound. But uh, it's only three balloons, and it has the similar uh, manipulation that I used in the with the cow, where I, you know, pinch twist of the heart. Except with the moose, I'm using a round, right? So just like before, and a simple body. I think it's it's pretty quick. I'm gonna do it in real time. I, I think I can get this in under a minute and a half. I'm gonna try my best. But uh, without further ado, let's get started on this. Movie. All right, here you go. So for the moose, you're gonna need a Mocha Brown 260 a blush 160 and a mocha brown five inch round so first take the mocha brown five inch round i blow it all the way up and stretch it out and i let it out to about four i would say four fingers maybe four or five fingers all right tie it off so watch what we're going to do we're going to push the air towards the nozzle so look at that see how i push that and it just pops out so I'm gonna take my opposite hand and I'm gonna twist off a bubble. Probably about a three finger bubble. You know, the larger the bubble, you know, you just gotta look at how big you want the front piece to be and how big the back piece, you know, because the back piece can be so, you can make it so big that it almost looks like cheeks on it too. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Take the nozzle, pull it down right here and we're gonna pinch twist. We're gonna grab and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I mean, not squeeze, twist, twist so that you want it to almost stay there. Look, that's not even moving. So that's how you want that part. So now, next, take the Mocha Brown 260, inflate, tie off. I would say leave a four, an eight uh, finger tail. Now to make sure this gets locked in tight to this piece, because that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna twist off a tiny little bubble, a tiny little bubble. And then I'm gonna lock that around the pinch twist. All right, so the pinch twist here. And now watch, I'm just gonna just discard it. Don't eat it, done with it. Squeeze the 260, go down three fingers, about three fingers. Make a little pinch twist, followed by two little loops. We're gonna make that little poof on the top of his head. So I squeeze the balloon a little bit. I'm gonna make two little tiny loops, so one loop, two loops, all right, and we're gonna stop right there. The next move is to, you know, twist off a bubble and attach it right here, but we have to do the uh, antlers. So, for the antlers, take a blush 160, inflate, leaving about, I would say, an eight finger tail, tie it off, just get rid of the little nozzle piece. Oh, I should have used scissors. There you go. Go down about three fingers. Make a little pinch twist. Go down another three fingers. Make a pinch twist. Go another three fingers. Make a pinch twist. All right. And now we want the balloon going like an L right here. All right. And... Just adjust these. And make sure. I always want to make sure I got it right. Yep, no, I was right. Hold on. There we go. So you want it to look like an L coming down, like, or if we're backwards on the way the camera goes, you want to go down this, like steps, down. And now we're going to make a split. I would say a literally two fingers and then make a split it right here. All right. Squeeze that a little bit, all right. Now we're gonna place this piece right behind the uh, Mocha Brown 260. We're not gonna lock it into the pinch with the top. We're just gonna place it in there. Now we're gonna bring, make a bubble, almost the same size as this, but a teeny bit smaller. So I just real quick, I can make that bubble. And watch, I'm just gonna bring it down and lock it into the pinch twist in the round. All right, and now I can just make the other side of the antlers by repeating the same pattern. So I'm just gonna go out, 
See, a little bit right here, about maybe two fingers, or one finger, out. A pinch twist. And I'm gonna make that up the steps pattern. So I go up, three fingers, pinch twist, up three fingers, pinch twist. Okay. So it's up to you, you know, if you wanna do less pinch twist for speed, I'm giving you maximum moosage. Maximum moosage. All right, tie that off. And there you go, cool antlers on this guy. Now, I'm gonna go down right, I was like not below the round. You don't even wanna see the next split. So I'm just gonna make it like a little tiny bubble so it's not going past the chin area. Make a pinch twist, and now, just like on the cow, cause you know, you're already gonna see a teeny bit because it's a pinch twist, so it's not as bad. Now we're just gonna make the old school dog leg. So maybe go down three fingers, make a bubble, up three fingers, and back in the old school dog leg. Okay, go back three fingers for the body. You have a lot of balloon, you can make a little pinch twist. Okay, a little pinch twist at the back. And then make those legs. Lock it into the pinch twist. And there you go. Let me just straighten them up. Nice. Here we go. I think he looks. I well, 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 I'm gonna make sure. Hold on. Hold on. That was all. I, don't, I got the, the reveal. It's like in a memory. Remember, I used to love that show. It was extreme makeover. That the reveal, the person will come out. And you're like, no way. Or the house. I used to love them kind of shows. So I don't want to, you know, do the reveal and him not look perfect. So, boom. I think we've achieved cuteness. How's that? Three balloon moose. Very cute. Nice structure. Easy to make. And it's a perfect prelude. I'll give you a hint tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to make a moose too. But it's going to be big. Huge. You're going to love it. The Omega Moose Hack. But I'll wait till tomorrow to talk about that. Let's focus now on the artwork. So, I'm gonna make a little dot on the side here, like round, I mean not a dot, like a round circle, go around, and then put like a, like a, almost like a ring, like a C over it. Repeat on the other side. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Oh, all right, see so you go. Next, I'm gonna put little two little slashes out here. So just like I do in every video, I just draw the U and I make a big giant U here. And I'm gonna make like an M, except I'm not gonna go all the way straight down. I'm just gonna stop a little bit and go down right there. McDonald's golden arches. I'm gonna fill in, leave like space at the top while I color all this in. And now I'm gonna make two big ovals. Like I draw the same eyes every single time because I am not an artist. And proud not to be one. No, I'm just kidding. I do admire, there's some, definitely some good artists in the blue world. My favorite, John Justice. If you've never checked out his stuff for his channel, definitely go check it out. He's also doing a YouTube weight loss challenge, so I've been watching my boy video, it's pretty cool. Dude's a master of uh, putting movies together. Very entertaining. So there you go, so I put the ovals, now I put the eye in. Put the other eye. All right. And now I'm gonna get my white paint marker and I'm gonna, oh, oh. I'm gonna put the teeth on the top here. Man, my marker's going bad, ooh. Come on. All right, here we go. There we go. So I fill the top right here. See that? It's the teeth. Color in those little circles. Okay, just looking at the time. All right, now I'm gonna go right around, all around it. I'm showing you the fancy version, but 
He just wanted to just, you know, draw two little white round spots and then two little, you know, black eyes right on that. That is perfectly fine. Not necessary to do all this stuff or even just, you know, put a little tongue on the moose instead of just drawing the teeth with the tongue. So this part we're going to color red. Okay. Oh, I went a little off out of the, oh, I don't know how to get rid of that. Oh. I guess he cut his lip shaving. He cut his lip shaving. Oh my God. All right. So now I can real quick go around the, you know, get to make sure I'm even it out so no, the white smudged it. Oh no, I made it have to make his eye bigger now because one side I made huge. Oh, let me just put, let me just put the, the marker down and add the easy stuff. All right. Um, man. All right, so now I'm just put on some little eyelashes or yeah, just like these little lines going up the side. So he's like thinking. And here we go. I think I made his eyes a little too high. He's kind of look up into the sky like, please let it rain here in the forest so me and the rest of the mooses can have a nice Memorial Day weekend. So no more talking. Let's get to this. All right, here we are. It's time for real time. Can I do this moose with these balloons using this iPhone counting down three minutes? Can it be done? We will see. Let me put this moose down, get my phone ready, This muzzle to see, very easy technique. Pinching off a round, not that hard, see? Okay. I always like the shapes, you know, the 260s and the 160s be put together with other shapes, like the hearts or the rounds or the 321. That's how you can really, you know, push the art to uh, different directions as far as what you come up with when you combine the traditional long balloons with the shapes. Okay. We are on 40 seconds and I'm on the antlers and the other, the brown pieces are already locked in. Okay. So I'm just making, oh, a little small these antlers. I made them a little small on this guy. I don't know why, but I did. I'm not trying to cheat real time. I'm just do what I was flowing with. Okay. All right, on one minute, eight seconds, and I'm giving this guy his legs. I have a lot of air in the back, so I'll make that pinch twist in the back. Okay. Get rid of that little bubble from earlier. Okay. And perfect, we're at a minute, 30 seconds, and I am on the antlers. Okay. Make a nice tight pinch twist here. So I'm twisting these ones in the top a couple times around because it will start to loosen. One, two, three. So you want to go a couple times on the top one. And even if you feel a little soft on that top piece, then add a little pinch twist next to it. Do two pinch twists. All right. So I just line this. I've pretty much lined them up already twice. So here you go. Two minutes. That part's already done. You can just go simple. But uh, I'm not. I don't know. Maybe I take that back. Maybe I'm going simple. I don't know. We'll see. Two minutes, 15 seconds. Okay. All right. Two minutes, 32 seconds. Yeah, you guys got me concentrating here. I'm trying to do this. That, uh, I think we're gonna have to go with a smile. With a smile, just like I do three minutes. I told you I might take a step off. So there it is. At two minutes, 50 seconds. Let me just go around the black one more time. Boom. Two minutes and 57 seconds of the first round.